9-11, Fort Hood, the failed Christmas Day bombing, and now a bomb plot to kill Americans right in the heart of New York City, all in the name of Islam. Nassim Mahdi is the national vice president of one of the oldest Muslim communities in the U.S., and he's now demanding that Muslims stop using violence in the name of religion. Good morning to you, Mr. Mahdi. Good morning. Well, you decided yesterday that it was time for somebody to stand up and take the lead. And you decided to be that person. Why? Because it was long overdue and uh, people were not speaking out. And I thought that uh, if uh, the vast majority of the moderate Muslims keep silence, this is going to hurt them and this is going to hurt this great country. So somebody has to get out and uh, say what real Islam is. And Islam does not condone any kind of violence or terrorism. Now, are you concerned for your own welfare, being that some extremists, Muslim extremists, are out to kill comedians like those who write for South Park? Why wouldn't they want to come after you, who head up an organization that condemns them? So I, I'm a believer in God, and if they do it, I, I consider myself that I have given my life for a good cause. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mahdi, a lot of people have been encouraging groups like yours, communities like yours, to do exactly what you did yesterday, to stand up and, and, and say that the majority of Muslims are not violent. Why are other groups like CARE, why are they not doing what you did? I think you should ask them, but uh, I have... Uh... Uh, I can just uh, make a guess that uh, perhaps they are not brave enough and uh, they don't want to say a word which might uh, offend these terrorists. Offend the terrorists? Yes. They, they, they don't want to do anything which uh, might uh, displease them. Mm -hmm. But somebody has to get out and somebody has to say enough is enough and we cannot tolerate this nonsense. We cannot give uh, uh, these people the agenda of Islam and Muslims. So you do not view Amer America as a problem in the world? I think uh, we are here and uh, Islam says that uh, you should be loyal to, this, to the country you live in. And Prophet Muhammad said that the love of your homeland is part of your faith. So the problems are, could be everywhere. There could be issues which can be discussed and uh, we can agree to disagree on issues. But this does not mean that we should start killing people. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think, sir, that if you stand up and take the stand that you did yesterday, that it would only help to cut down the stereotypes that Muslims living here in America feel. Yes, that's, that's right. And I think uh, what I said was that uh, every Muslim, every moderate Muslim, and they are in majority, and these uh, fanatics are in small minority, that these people who are silent majority, they should get out and talk about the peaceful uh, Islam and the, they should show the peaceful uh, posture of Islam. Right, and for those who say that those, uh, those who attack have no other choice, they're being held in, in, in dire circumstances, have not been reading the bios of those perpetrating these attacks. A lot of them are rich, a lot of them are well educated, and they spend their time trying to kill us. Thanks for your time, Nassim Mahadi, and uh, hopefully other people will follow your lead. Okay, thank you very much for having me. All right, straight ahead. He is a convicted murderer who's